Hello and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be listening to I Prevail's brand new song Fake off of the brand new album True Power. We've listened to the intro which was like 42 seconds long. We have listened to The Fear of Letting Go or In The Fear of Letting Go. I can't remember. It's just, you know, I'm just going through these at the moment. Like, don't hate me. The Fear of Letting Go was awesome. I'm so hyped for the rest of the album and that is what we're doing now. So we're going to listen to Fake, almost as fake as the day I recorded this video. You can probably still see the line where my hat was. But anyway, enough about when I was recording this and my secret editing tactics. We're going to go into the video now and we're going to see what Fake's all about. Oh, sorry, the cat's just playing with a snake. That sounds weird. I genuinely have a pet snake. Let's go. Okay, a lot faster into the drums there. Got a lot more cymbal, a lot more crashes. Nice chilling kind of electronic stuff. Maybe a bit of palm mute guitar, I don't know. Tell you what, I'm gonna just lower the blind a bit. I like this. This has got like, some new metal feel to it. I like this, you know, it's so much more put together. Oh. So first of all, that was a real volatile song. We got straight into it. We got more of that kind of like rap feel to it than um, which we've heard in Body Bag and um, Bad Things, actually. Very impactful once again. The biggest dynamic I've always had with this band sometimes is sometimes the band or the, the, the difference between the singers and the chorus and the verse doesn't always gel. But the song we listened to before, it did. Bad things, it did. Body bag was a little bit eh. But this one, like, it worked perfectly. And then coming out of that chorus, we've gone into a, like, heavy feel again. Like, the transitions between the two singers is perfect so far. And yeah, I just like the high, like the pace of this song. It just sounds so good. So good. And they're kind of like going back and forth. I love that. I don't know what this chorus feels like to me. It feels quite punky, you know? Oh, I like that. Palm muted like individual strings. Oh, mate, listen to that solo. Oh, lovely. I love that little cut there. That was sick. That was brilliant. Oh. It's got a bop to it as well, this chorus. Oh, that was nice. I think we've almost finished the song there, but I just wanted to say this has such a fun vibe to it. It's still heavy, it's still angry, but it's got such a fun flow and it's just like the, the chorus is so catchy as well. I wouldn't be able to like, tell you what he was saying. I'm not picking up the lyrics that quickly, but it's just so much fun to just listen to. I just like the screaming elements in it as well. They've done really well with this song. Let's listen to the next 20 seconds and then we'll go into it a little bit more. Oh. <laughs> And then that back to the back to the really high paced drums. Oh. Well, I don't really know what to say about that because it's only been like 
a total of five minutes recording this and uh, we're already done with the song. You know what, it was two minutes and 51 seconds, probably like, I don't know, 30 seconds shorter than most, like the average song, but my God, that went quick. Obviously I didn't pause and stop as much as like I usually do and that's just because I want to kind of like get through the songs and I'm talking more as I go through it, so there's that. I feel like that went so fast, that song, but that's how the pace of the song felt. I'm very impressed so far with this album, very impressed. I also feel like, I don't know why, and I, I keep talking about these singles that came out. I feel like the best songs have been like left on like for us to listen to when the album gets released, which is good. You don't want to like, you know, send out your best songs and then the actual album's a bit eh. So, you know, but like the songs that I've listened to so far from this actual album and not singles have actually been better for me personally. I don't know. I'm, I haven't listened to Self Destruction yet. That literally came out the day before the album came out. I did a actual quick little poll just to kind of say, would you want me to react to this first or would you want me to start from the actual beginning of the album? Everyone said beginning of the album, which makes sense to me. I'm glad we were on the same page. But yeah, maybe that single was an absolute fucking heavy, amazing, awesome song, which, you know, I won't have got to use as a single because it's going to be going through the album stream. But yes, thank you very much for watching that. Let me know what you thought about this song down below. Do you know what I kind of feel like the whole pop punk chorus? How do you feel about the dynamic between the two singers? I really need to get their names memorized in my head. I have done it before, but right now I can't remember. Thoroughly enjoying this so far. On to the next video. So yeah, thank you very much. Please like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you very soon. Bang. Down, 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 down.